apparent weight of a man in a lift or elevator now suppose a person of mass m is standing on a weighing machine placed in an elevator or lift the actual weight of the person is basically mg in which uh, means the lift which is measuring so that is given by the weight is given by mg only this acts on a weighing machine which offers a reaction r given by the reading of the weighing machine so you can state this as a diagram so this is a person this is the weight mg which is acting vertically downward and r is the normal reaction <coughs> by the machine now this reaction exerted by the surface of contact on the person is the you can say it is the apparent weight of the person so basically r is what that is the apparent weight of the person now we should discuss r in related sorry we discuss now we shall discuss how r is related to mg in the following different situation or the different situation that we will discussing so first is when the elevator is at rest so consider this situation now at rest means acceleration is zero now when the acceleration is zero now when the elevator is at rest what is the acceleration of the person now see acceleration of person is what acceleration of person that equals zero okay now again what is the net force on the person so when the acceleration is zero basically the net force which we write as f on the person is again zero is again zero so <coughs> r see basically there are two forces which are acting r normal reaction mg on the person so if <laughs> there is net, no net force so you can write r minus mg equals zero because the net force is zero r minus mg equal to zero or r equals mg now this is what the apparent weight is now r is what the apparent weight or the normal reaction the so apparent weight is equals to the actual weight of the person okay now uh, when the elevator is moving uniformly in the upward direction now see though it is moving uniformly they are saying uh, though it sorry though it is moving upward or downward direction but the motion is uniform that is the motion is uniform that means again the acceleration is zero so you can consider this diagram only in which the acceleration is zero r and mg again is the same thing now again in uniform motion the acceleration of the person since it is moving uniformly so basically the acceleration of person so acceleration of that person will be what will be again zero so the same condition will happen that means r minus mg that is equals to zero or r equals mg or r equals <coughs> mg that is the apparent weight so this is the apparent weight is equals to the actual weight of the person so again in uniform motion upward or downward when it is moving uniformly the real weight sorry the apparent weight is equals to the actual weight of the person now next when the elevator is accelerated upward now see this is the situation now see since this is being accelerated upward so the apparent weight r will be different so i have taken this as r1 so these are the forces which are acting on the person this is r1 this is r1 means vertically upward mg and the lift is being accelerated upward that means r1 is more than mg means there is a net force which is in the upward direction okay now the acceleration is a so what is the net so, so there is a net upward force now what is the net upward force net upward force <coughs> what is that that is r 1 minus mg is equals f this f small f is the net upward force r1 minus mg is the net upward force yes which is equals to f now what is this f by newton second law f is equals to m into a so the mass of the person will remain same that will have no change in it so r1 minus 
एम जी इक्वल्स एम ए सो दिस आर वन इक्वल्स एम ए प्लस एम जी नाउ सो दिस आर वन इक्वल्स यू कैन टेक एम कॉमन दिस विल बी ए प्लस जी नाउ सी दिस इज दिस इज ए एक्चुअली ए प्लस जी सो फ्रॉम दिस इट इज क्लियर दैट आर वन इज ग्रेटर देन एम जी वाई बिकॉज आर वन इज एम ए प्लस एम जी आर वन इज ग्रेटर एम जी एंड द अपेरेंट वेट ऑफ द पर्सन बिकम्स मोर देन द एक्चुअल वेट वेन द एलिवेटर इज एक्सलरेटिंग अपवर्ड वेन द एलिवेटर इज एक्सलरेटिंग डाउनवर्ड्स नाउ सी देर इज एन एक्सल नाउ सी सी दिस इज द Uh, you can say the free body diagram the force is acting on the person is r2 again the r2 will be different so that's why i have taken the normal reaction as r2 which will have a different value and mg which is acting vertically downwards now a is the acceleration so this elevator is accelerating downwards now what is the net force the net force is mg minus r2 the net force is basically mg minus r2 so because it is going down so mg is more than r2 so mg minus r2 is the net force which is again equals to f now what is this force again the mass will remain the same that is equals to m into a so mg minus r2 equals m a <coughs> okay now the shifting the sides taking r2 to the to that side so this will be mg minus m a equals R two, so you can see R two is equals m g minus m a, or you can take R two. This is equals to m of g minus a. And now you can clearly see R two is what R two is less than m g. M g is the actual weight. Now hence the apparent weight here, which is R two, of a person becomes less than the actual weight. when the elevator is accelerating downward okay now see we'll use this equation r2 m of g minus a now consider this r2 this will be used in further two now in a free fall of a body under gravity that is in a free fall now see now from this equation only now you now you know that first of all in a free fall what happens is that that a acceleration of that lift will be equals to g because that is undergoing a free fall now again if we use this equation r equals m of g minus a if we use this equation r equals m of g minus a sub substituting a as g so this will be c r2 is what r2 is m of g minus a okay so this is basically m now substituting a as e g minus g so which is equals 0 so what is r2 the apparent weight when the body falls under gravity means during a free fall the r2 becomes 0 that <coughs> is known as the weightlessness the apparent weight of the body becomes zero or the body becomes weightless now see weightless weightlessness is felt only because the force of reaction between the person and the plane with which he is in contact actually that goes so basically this is the case of weightlessness now when the downward acceleration is greater than g though the lift is going down as in this case the lift is going down but this acceleration is greater than g Now see, what the condition is: a is actually greater than g. Then again, using this equation, r two is m of g minus a. <coughs> see, r two is m of g minus a. M of g minus a. Now in this case, what is a? A is greater than g. So if you solve, so this r two actually will be negative. So r two will be negative. R two becomes negative. That is the apparent weight on a person. becomes negative in that even the person will rise from the floor of the lift and stick to the ceiling of the lift or we can say that the person will start 
flying. 